Hi everyone and welcome to my VR tour of New York. I'm going to be taking you to a few key destinations around this amazing city and a few of which you will probably have never seen, like this rooftop in Brooklyn with a stunning view of Manhattan at sunset. Now New York is an absolutely huge city with nearly endless destinations, so the point of this VR tour is not to show you everything, but to just give you a taste of what New York is like right now. I've tried to actually avoid the most obvious New York destinations like Times Square because there are already dozens of VR videos of these places and you probably already know what it looks like anyway. This particular rooftop is located in the Greenpoint neighborhood just on the other side of the East River from Manhattan. The sunset you are seeing is probably the best sunset I've ever seen in my life personally and the Greenpoint area is definitely worth a visit if you are into hipster culture. Okay, so for now I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this sunset, which really, really was awesome, but then soon we're gonna move to our next destination. Next up is the rooftop of the Rockefeller Center, which is currently the highest open-air observation deck in New York. From here you have one of the best views of Manhattan Island possible. You can see all of Central Park, the Empire State Building, as well as most of New York's densely packed skyline. One of the towers that sticks out the most is 432 Park Avenue, which looks like an impossibly thin tower and is actually the tallest residential building in the world. Because the Rockefeller viewing platform is located on a flat rooftop, you get a full 360 degree view wherever you stand, whereas the Empire State Building viewing deck is obscured by the tower itself. You are now very close to where the World Trade Center towers once stood, an area that has been intensely transformed over the past decade. America's new tallest tower, known as One World Trade Center or Freedom Tower, stands in between the 9-11 Memorial Fountains. The tower stands at over 540 meters tall and is the sixth tallest tower in the world. You're probably wondering what that strange looking white building is, well it's a huge new transport hub that cost over 4 billion dollars to build and doubles as a mall. I took a look inside and it turned out to be one of my favourite new buildings in the city. Now last time I was in New York, way back in 2005, this area had a distinct atmosphere of pain and sadness, but now it's been transformed into a place of optimism while still being respectful. Let's take a closer look at those memorial gardens and you'll see what I mean. This is one of the two fountains representing the exact location and footprint of the World Trade Center towers. This is really something I'd recommend seeing guys just to experience the awesome size of these fountains which are designed to mute out the sounds of the city and provide a sanctuary for contemplation. The names of the victims are engraved on the bronze parapets that surround the fountains and a flower is placed upon each of them during the date of their birthday. There is also a large museum located within the grounds of these gardens which commemorates the day and explores the impact it had on the world. Like I said, I was here over 10 years ago and it was kind of a depressing place, but I'm really glad it's been transformed into something more positive. This is the last stop on this VR tour and it may come as a little bit of a surprise. Well, it was certainly a surprise for me to stumble upon this golden sand beach in Brooklyn. Yes, we're still definitely in New York, specifically a small park in Williamsburg on the west side of Brooklyn. If you don't believe me, then look into the distance and you can just about spot the Empire State Building and one World Trade Center. In fact, from here you can see uh, just about half the length of Manhattan Island, which is 13.4 miles in case you were wondering. This beach, even though it's tiny, is my nomination for beach with the best view in the world. 
I really think this is one of New York's hidden treasures, and I was so surprised to see it wasn't packed with people, and hopefully it stays that way. I'm going to let you enjoy the sound of the waves, and you can even watch me nearly trip over some particularly slippy rocks as I foolishly try to climb them barefoot. So that's the end of my VR tour of New York City. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something you didn't know before. This was a pretty short VR tour as I was mostly focused on exploring the city while I was there, but my other VR tours are generally more extensive. You can find them all on my YouTube channel or you can follow me on Instagram to see when a new one is posted. Personally I cannot wait to visit New York again. If you've been, let me know where your favourite New York places are and I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next